All right. What we've done here, I'm prepping the differential. I'm changing the spider gears. Here's the 510 spider gear. Here's the truck spider gear. So when they talk about changing the spider gears, this differential carrier originally had these in it. Uh, it was set, set up for a 710, same thing as a 510 wagon rear end with a 3.89 uh, ring and pinion gear in it. Since we don't want to have to bother shimming any of the bearings and anything, we need to keep this differential, this carrier, inside that case with that pinion and that ring gear mounted back on here. So what we're doing is we're taking these small axle spider gears out and we're putting the truck ones in. So now I've got everything prepped and lubricated. I've cleaned everything. Uh, took an epoxy brush and 90 weight gear lube so I didn't have to just soak it in it. Uh, and the ring gears, or the spider gear basically, one goes in right there. And the other one, I'm going to stick in and tuck it up inside here. Tolerances are kind of tight so get them close, they go in. So now what I found, this isn't the first take, <laughs> what I found is you hold hold the one gear in there we'll put the the rod in so that we can line up the other one on the other side now I know that they're both straight across from each other because they've got to rotate in together as a unit so it's a little little tricky here push them in that way the bushings uh, the shims those brass uh, cups don't uh, come out and once you get it uh, fairly close then you can uh, you might need to uh, move it a little bit to line up better with the hole all right that one went in now it's a truck this block has to go in it spaces the uh, keeps the axles from coming in too far it wasn't originally in this carrier but the parts match up uh, came out of the other carrier for the truck We'll go to the other side here, we'll line that one up a little bit, and then basically get it lined up with the drift pin. There we go. That's uh, basically all there is to it. It took a whole lot longer to uh, uh, clean everything up than to uh, do any of the swap. All right, let's see if we can drop the rest of it together here. Um, I've got it oriented where uh, I had it originally. To get it to stand up like this, the nut sticks out on the end of the uh, flange, so I used an old bearing race just to set it down on there. I want to keep these uh, oriented left and right. You can probably see in the background where I spilled the uh, spilled the cup of uh, nope. Spilled the cup of gear lube I had. <laughs> yeah, there it is. I was a messy baby too, so. Anyway, we'll put that uh, bearing race on there. Um, you should get uh, lube to them as soon as the thing is filled up. So I'm not gonna put uh, put any lube on them now just because it makes a stinking mess. So, let's see if we can drop it in here. Races. And uh, maybe somebody's got another trick to make this uh, go better. Because I'm not a differential guy. So let's uh, let's see here. Crunch. How about that? Don't want to whack on too hard. Don't want to uh, whack on with any metal either. Uh, so we'll drop the bearing caps on and. Uh, all right, looked it up in the book. It's called the crown wheel. Uh, 
I took some pictures of it. We'll see if uh, see if I post them wherever. Anyway, it's called the Crown Wheel Bolts. Uh, torque is uh, for the estate car, the 521 pickup. It's uh, 40 foot pounds. So uh, we're already got the wrench set. Basically, what we're going to do is just uh, snug uh, get uh, each of these just snugged up a bit, so we're not having to ratchet the. Uh, torque wrench hold on. This isn't one of those things you want to uh, do with an impact. I suppose you could do it as guten tight, but uh, got it clamped in the vise so might as well uh, do it the right way. Now I've got this set for 20 foot pounds. We'll do it in stages that way we don't put any kind of uh, uh, twist in it. And then we'll crank the torque wrench up to 40 and do it again. sure it didn't pop any of them down let's uh, run around it one more time when you're doing the lug bolts on your car you'll notice on aluminum rims sometimes they'll uh, when you get around all the way the, they'll end up being a little loose all right let me grab the chisel just include this part here while we're at it. These tabs here are the lock tabs. Take the chisel, run it up underneath, and put it up against it there. And you just want it to sit up, sit up on it flush. That's to uh, keep it from uh, coming undone. Because uh, you'd end up with a nut bolt floating around inside uh, your differential and get stuck in the gears and uh, <laughs> lock it up. Probably at highway speed while you're at it. <laughs> 